personal experience. I'm just right. wondering, like, you know, if we talk about body talk system, and evidence based, maybe we can talk about some of the scientific research that has been done um, based on something like that. People who have stronger logical mind can relate to that in that sense. You know, if you can share with us some scientific evidences that uh, we can talk about you know, to make people a little bit more confident or more aware that this is this, this, Ooh, is, this is real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is real, yeah. Yeah, this is real. It's so important to differentiate the word scientific evidences, scientific researchers versus proof. Backtrack a little bit with body talk. Uh, when we keep using the word alignment, listen yeah. to your body. To be able to listen to your body, first we need to understand that we actually have three brains. Oh yeah. Instead of one up here. The, this is this is what we call the brain brain, the head brain, right? The brain and the head. The two other brains from a body talk perspective, uh, the second one is called the heart brain. Mm. Yeah. The heart is also considered a brain. And then the third brain, which is more commonly known only since 2016, is the gut brain. Mm. A lot of researches has been done over uh, the brain. I know there's already a lot of uh, conventional tests, but the researches that is done over the heart brain is called the Heart Med Institute. So we'll show the uh, link down here if you're interested and go uh, check them out. The research that has done is the heartbeat has a lot of activity, which means each time the heart beats, it's sending and pumping signals and information to every cell. If we have not done an update internally, of course, consciously, you know that you're not going to work, like you're retired, consciously, you know. But if your heart is, is conditioned and your body is being programmed to operate at that vibration, nothing is going to change. It's going to create problems if the person resists change. So the, there are researchers that the heartbeat sends frequencies and the frequency of the heart sends is at least 60 to 2,000 times more than the brain. So I'm sure when we watch TV and stuff like that, that you, you, we have seen that if someone has a heart transplant, yeah, yes, the person's life change, yes. behavior change, attitude change. Why is that? You are kind of like putting a, 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 a Macintosh program into a Windows or vice versa. So the heart is the master, actually one of the master uh, 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 controller of the system. Yeah. But what do we do with our hearts? We condemn our hearts. Because we say what? Because it says it's fickle, it's like mm. consistency, and it's only because we listen to what other people have tell us on what we've been conditioned. This is actually the more consistent one according to you. This is according to other people. So when so these two brains... Listen to the heart, right? Not listen to the brain, listen to the heart. <laughs> All right. There's too many, too many, even so many songs is also written, listen to your heart. But we, we're not trained to do that. I'll listen to what? Listen to what? Take a stethoscope and listen to my heart. So, no, so no, and by the way, the heart does secrete hormones as well. This is what we don't know. And uh, we think the brain secretes hormones, isn't it? Yeah. Guess so, what? The gut brain <laughs> is the one that secretes most hormones more than the brain. But because there was no studies done in the past, yeah. So we all assume that it's all the brain. So the gut brain is also the enteric brain, which uh, again, this is the, this is the project which was done. Then the, uh, it was only released to the public, this information. It's called the Human Microbiome Project. Wow. They've done the research to, uh, to say that the cells in the entire human system. So for example, there are 100 trillion cells yeah. and we human beings only have 10% of human cells. 90% oh. of the so-called cells in the body is in the gut. Wow. Which is the bacteria. 
Yeah. Right? So we are 90, we are only 10% human. The rest are microbes. <laughs> exactly. The rest are microbes. And the microbes are supposed to, of course, it's a lot, a lot of functions, but we're just not aware because the, the scientific research wasn't, wasn't done in the past. For example, functions like planning, mm. organizing, decision making, or even relationship matters is done by both combination of heart and the gut. Wow. And what do we do? We use, we, we've been using this brain, right? And then we create so much relationship problems, you know, all the divorce cases, relationship issues, gossips, God knows what. Research has mm. been done to show that there are three separate brains. This is more like a, like a relay station. It takes feedback from, let's say it takes feedback from the heart and then it makes a connection and then it goes in a loop. But for us, it's heart send signal or the gut send signal is like delete. Yeah. You know, we call it selective yeah. listening or selective. Yeah. Like ego mind, right? We talk about the logical mind. Versus Correct. Correct. Mind, the intuitive exactly. mind. Listen to your guts and listen to your heart, right? Guts that, is a, that is an intuitive mind. Not this one. Yeah, so it's misalignment. This tree is misalignment. Like if you don't listen, use this guts and heart to listen and tell your brain to do that, right? Correct. You're using this, ah, I know this, I know this, but well, let me this. do it my way or right. Yeah, or, or this is not logical. Yeah. I don't understand this because it's beyond my ability to understand that. Exactly. So I, yeah. That's a very good point. point. <laughs> That's a very good point. It's beyond my ability to understand. Therefore, you know, and then, you know, I do body talk for 15 years. People call, ask me to say, is that proof? And we always say, like, how, how do I, how do I prove? How do you prove love? How do you prove you, you, you love your husband? Yeah. Right. How, how, how do you, how do you prove you care or, or all this stuff? But if you want, you can go measure <laughs> the frequency of your heart, you know, uh, you, you can measure the kind of stuff. people will ask what's the proof they are operating from here right yeah they want to know the logical reason for that you know several years back and when i sit down and ask myself what do i truly want mm. am i happy I'm like, i don't even know what it takes for me to be happy the heart is blocked <laughs> you know the, the, there's no there's no wi-fi over there to connect, you know, the communication is not in place because no, nobody teach me and I work for 40 years and I'm my job so-called one way or another, even accounts, right? I, I get a salary or what? My, my job was to make other people happy, to solve other people's problems. Of course, we get paid for it, but what do I want? I don't know. Get paid, pay bills. I go, that's not life. Yeah. That's not living, but how, how many of us is... is really truly they're you not know, like you go to walk this path 24 7 right you still need to make a living that's why it goes back to what i asked how much time do you have for yourself if you can't afford every day a week right five minutes sit be with yourself not sit watch tv right that's distraction yes yes right so even 10 seconds can be very scary how much time will you spend with your kids anytime phone call exactly. right it's like you will drop whatever you do for you know, whatever you think is important. Scary. Yeah, so back to when you talk about the evidence, the heart mm -hmm. gives out a lot of signals, a lot yeah. of energy, a lot of magnetic waves, likewise the guts, right? And as body talker, you listen to that signals, right? Correct. We use that protocol that we mentioned yeah. to... Yeah find out what does this part, I mean, whichever part we are, we are pointed to, you know, what kind of Wi-Fi we need to yeah. reconnect back. But because we're so much using this, right, we don't even know, even if you don't know something exists, you won't use it. Yes. Right? Exactly. Like, you, you have a big house, like, I, I'm pretty sure it's spring cleaning, you open up a closet, oh, do I have this? I never knew I had this. I mean, we just bought something similar. Exactly. Yeah, so this is exactly the same as we have all these potentials, you have all these 
abilities man and we first we don't know and even if you know we don't know how to use it yeah body talk is one way to help you listen to this kind of messages uh, communicating with your body and also like make sure that all the organs are communicating again right like, you know, correct correct all right. Very good point. The, the other key with body talk, not just we're listening, but we're also helping to re-establish that original communication. Uh, too many clients and they've done their medical check. It's always important to also do your medical checkup. And after the medical checkup, everything is in normal range. <laughs> and they're still not well. Right. So I always use the metaphor like, or, or the analogy, like in a, either in a sports team or in a corporate or even in a family. Like a sports team is easy or, or to, to illustrate, right? You can have the best individual players. If they don't pass the ball or, you know, there's no teamwork, yeah. you're not going to win the game. So similarly, the body, the body is like the team in a football team like different organs they need to talk to each other correct that there's a line hormone secretes they need signals from the gland to say how much to secrete and what do we do but we're so stuck to operating in a certain manner so it's not doing what it's supposed to do you know we don't listen to the body we tired ourselves uh, we work over time midnight wake up travel here and there work you know and it. you don't pause and listen to the body and exactly right and exactly illnesses right because there's already a misalignment the board the organs are not talking to each other correct too i mean that's what we have, we always say as well one of fundamentals of body talk the body is able to heal itself yeah. if you're not if the body is not aware what is the problem it cannot do the job or we don't give it time for the self-repair, it's also not able to do itself. And we also use our ego mind to overstretch with activities and, and, and physical yeah. things that we do on a daily basis. Most of it goes back to the heart, right? Yeah. If you change the frequency, and if this guy is not making a lot of noise and allow the rest of the body to do its job, the minute you change the frequency, Everything says what you know. That we, we, you, even you talk about scientific research. There's actually uh, one that's been done many many years ago. Have you heard of? I'm sure you've heard of the 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 word schizophrenia. Yeah. Split personality. There's also research done if, if in uh, schizophrenia or multiple personalities. Yeah. When you do a medical test on this personality, this personality could have a lot of medical condition. You name it, this person has it. When they shift to another personality, it's a totally different person. How do you explain that? So the scientific research is this operate differently. So you can say the heart frequency, right? Once you like change the channel, everything else follow. But because we're so conditioned, like you know. Or you are you are this, you are that, you are this. So we, we hang on to identities. We hang on to our problems indirectly. Yeah. Right? So if you look at that kind of research, it's like how is that possible? I think that's also related to what Dr. Bruce Lipton mm -hmm. Correct. Correct. A little bit on that research, how is it related? His famous book is called The Biology of Belief. Yeah. So one of the key words of his research is called epigenetics. He's a what? Stem cells biologist. He's a stem cells biologist. He's been working with, on, on this uh, stem cell study since 1960s. Yes. So his theory, which is, uh, depends on how conventional you are in terms of Western medicine, but he has also done so much research to say that genetics. Yeah. Right, if your family history have this, 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 this uh, uh, health challenge, there's a higher chance that you will get it. Yeah. So Dr. Bruce Lipton, uh, of course, says otherwise. Whether or not you get that issue is not depending on the genes. It's depending on the person's belief system that is going to then 
activate that genetic condition. So you may have a predisposition, but you there's a high chance that you might not even get it at all. Yeah. So he's saying, you know, our thinking, our beliefs, our mind affects how our body function. And this is not positive thinking. Yeah. Uh, it's, it, this is not, this is, you know, the belief system is like how you've been brought up, how you've been conditioned. And, and this is the programming. So it's not as simple as every day look at a mirror and do positive thinking. Yeah. So, well, you can do positive thinking here, but here, <laughs> it's like still turbulent. Exactly. Then, it's so, something positive thinking without the alignment can deviate and get you even more, more painful, right? Like, why am I not getting what I want? Yeah. So you get even more frustration, frustrated and then that even create another set of problems altogether. I think it's the change of the total energy or magnetic wave of the person, right? It's not just changing here. Correct. So it takes, it's not just that, oh, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. Exactly. <laughs> okay, I mean, it may affect a little bit, but it has to come from here. And here. You're going to feel the happiness. I mean, if you seriously want to do that, you want to be happy, you, you're going to pause and feel. Are you truly happy? Are that? I don't think, you know, the yeah. body doesn't lie, you know, that unless you're, you know, put it on, it, it, it is the frequency. But they are also, and I watch a lot of movies, right? If, unless you lie to yourself, then the lie detector cannot even detect that. But that's to the extent that you have even lied to, convince and lie to it's yourself. Um, the deeper underlying issue. Yeah, that's a different story altogether. Body talk is able to help you to kind of surface the body is trying to surface some issue mm -hmm. that may not may cause you to be unhappy, which mm -hmm. you may not even be aware of, right? Correct, correct. Uh, so so that you become more conscious about it. The moment you're conscious about it, you are already starting to align. The body right. has this tapping system to kind of hey talk. Change right. the frequency yeah. of how you used to operate and then bring you back when, when we, you know, there's one part that we are tapping the heart area. When we do all this tapping, we're sending frequencies to yeah. the body. It's like up, you know, change the old uh, program, yeah. update yeah. with this new communication pathway. So that's yeah. how it works from within. And then, of course, at the same time, we will uh, debrief or quite, you know, debrief to the client what we have done. We're not telling, it's not after a session, I tell you to go back and do this, this, and that. So we are not prescribing. We're just bringing awareness of what the body wants, what we have done, and we are interpreting to you to have awareness of what's going on inside. So we are not telling people, drink lots of water, don't look at this, stop worrying, you know, we don't do that kind of stuff. Yeah, just like you say, not being aware of what your body is telling you and Correct. Remember I share with you the 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 water story? Yes, yeah. please share with the uh, this share week, with uh, back egg. He went to see a specialist. He had to lie down in the car to go and see a specialist. That's how bad he was. He went to see a specialist, he came back with a lot of painkillers. I come I can't remember what muscle relaxant and all that. And that week he couldn't still couldn't get up. So I say I was just casually, hey, let, let me do a body talk session with his permission, of course. We always ask for permission. So my intention was just help him to listen to the body, right? That was I, I did it by distance. And uh, after the session, I share with him. And this friend has been doing water business for the past 20 years. The water business was badly affected the last two years and he is very passionate about water how water can heal we can talk about our whole body is made out of water right for so how body can heal us and he is so passionate about but because of the last two years never had any income a lot of external pressure right telling him give up this business enough 20 years of trying right so when he had this backache Actually, that's when he was deciding whether he wanted to quit this war. Wow. So after the body talk, I kind of sense that it's a kind of like something related to 
to water. And then I kind of debrief, uh, did a debrief and, and also plus my coaching, you know, session with him. And that night he meditated and he saw this, his conclusion is like, I have to go on with this water. His intuition told him that. Okay. I remember it was a full moon light and he said he just looked at the full moon and meditated and he just had this light going through, energy going through him. That's what he described. And the next day, he apologized to his water and said that, I'm sorry that I almost wanted to pick you, but I'm going to give you another cup. He actually said that to his water and his backache went away 80% the next day, he told me. Wow. So, I mean, believe it or not, see, this is what, perhaps this is his calling, you know, yeah. his passion, his purpose, who, he, who am I? Yeah. And he found it and he almost wanted to quit. <laughs> the body is telling him, don't quit. Exactly. Back A, right? Back A is the support, right? I don't know, the back represents the, yeah. Correct. Yeah. The, support system, the entire support system. Yeah. So it's, anyway. It's, it's interesting, right? Like, you know, the body knows what better to quit or not to quit. Other yeah. people would have, you know, keep saying. Quit because no money. <laughs> correct. Correct. So the external pressure has kind of like he, he doubted him, you know, internally. Self-doubt has created the pain. Yeah. Uh, that it is probably nothing more than the body knocking on his door to go like, listen to me. I guess he felt, like you say, you know, he felt the energy, but then he also felt whatever it is that he felt. Yeah. It's like, the heart is like, whoa, when you say, oh, hi, I must continue the water. The heart is like, anyway, after a couple of, one month after, he started to get, some water business back again. So I, I don't know now, but he's not complaining to me that he doesn't have any job. Yeah. So I think he is slowly getting in that I am praying hard for him too. Yeah. Yeah. That. Yeah. So yeah, there you go. It's like our body is amazing. It is amazing. It's so amazing. Like sometimes you seriously, yeah. to some extent, it's so unbelievable, right? But it's it could be as simple as that. Yeah. But again, this